going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dylan, and this is Tanya, the Hello. stunning, beautiful, Spanish, gorgeous senorita Tanya. Hello, everyone. Why are you talking like that? I just wanted to talk like that. Okay. Well, I just wanted to Ella's know. nombre is Tanya. Tanya. Lasagna. Lasagna, exactly. That's her <laughs> nickname. Only I call her lasagna. <laughs> She's made of plenty of layers, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. <laughs> the thing... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The thing is, oh gosh. <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? Because <laughs> I'm trying not to be loud. I'm trying not to be loud. I got told off the other day. Yeah, the neighbors are knocking on the wall <laughs> like, shut up. Yeah, exactly. It's too late and I have to go to sleep. We've, got, we've literally got one neighbor and our neighbor's literally right there. Yeah. We've got no neighbors here. Well, we, we do there, but we've got no neighbors around. And the only neighbor we've got was right here. Mm -hmm. And it just happens to be their bedroom behind me. Yeah. Out of all the freaking places. Yeah. All the freaking places. Yeah, that's how it is. That's our luck. Jesus Christ. Now that we've moved everything in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could have stayed in the old small room. Yeah, yeah. I moved into the bigger room, the bigger studio. I probably have to move back into the smaller one. Jesus Christ. Who knows? Anyway. Anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, friends, season two, episode 16, the one where Joey moves out. Oh, what? Oh, that sucks. Anyway, let's get into it, guys. Episode 15 was hilarious, absolutely hilarious. And like we were saying, Tanya was saying, you can see the difference now between the first few episodes of the season one and now yeah. season two, halfway through, you can see the difference, yeah? Yeah, In now it's going to be more like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, and you'll be realizing Rachel has gotten a little bit more mature, a little bit. Mm-hmm. So. Slowly, of course. Yeah. There's a, there's a, that, that's what Friends is about. All the characters change from the first season till the last one. There's an mm. evolution in their their behavior and the way they are. Like us as humans. Exactly. That's how life is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. If you can go check it out in full, it's over on Patreon. It's the best way to support us as always. And yeah, let's go. You ever realize Captain Crunch's eyebrows are actually on his hat? Joey, the man's been captain of a cereal for the last 40 years. Oh, oh yeah. You licked and you pulled. That's like you're using my toothbrush. <laughs> you use my toothbrush. Oh, my God. Oh, that was only because I used the red one to unclog the drain. <laughs> Mine is the red one. Why can't we use the same toothbrush, but we can use the same soap? Because soap is soap. It's self-cleaning. Well, next time you take a shower, think about the last thing I wash and the first thing you wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ready for it, ready? I'll be there for you Me too That's it <clears throat> hey. hey What's the occasion? Well, you know the guy on my show that's in a coma? He's having a brunch Ready when you are I can't believe you guys are actually getting tattooed Cannot tell Ross because I want to surprise him This is wild, what are you going to get? Um, I'm getting a Lily for my mom because her name is Lily That's lucky, what if her name was Big Ugly Splotch? <laughs> <laughs> so where are you getting it? I think on my shoulder What if her dad's, what if she was getting a tattoo of her dad and her dad's name was Dick? <laughs> well, you know what she'll get <laughs> Oh my gosh, my mind's just blown my mind has been blown. <laughs> you know the answer to the question. It's it's Phoebe. I mean, she would do it. <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. My mind's just blown. My mind's just completely blown with that. You know, I got a bone to pick, all right? Let me just say, I'm going to be... This pees me off, all right? I've never understood people that buy a juice in a carton and then put it into a porcelain jug into a glass jug an open glass jug it just annoys the crap out of me why it annoys the crap out of me because literally you have you it's like these people that buy uh, um washing detergent and they put it into a big plastic container but it annoys the crap like, out of me it so it's so like you, you literally have a storage right there. Yeah, but you have like a carton of, of a carton of juice, it's called. Yeah. And you have half of it 
and then you have a full one in the cupboard and you're going to have breakfast and you know that you're not going to have enough with just half of, of, the, of the break. So you just feel, instead of grabbing the two, you just put it all in a, in a glass jar and that way you don't have to stand but up to get the other one. But it's not as fresh. It is. You just got it out of the... You've literally got an open glass container, portion container, whatever you want to call it, a glass jug, whatever they call it. You've got it open sitting in the fridge so all the, the bacteria and everything that's inside of your fridge from other foods is going inside of your juice and it's not staying fresh. You're literally just drinking water with some flavouring. Yeah, that's right. I mean... It looks good. It's it looks definitely good. It something better. Tanya would do because she loves to leave open things in the fridge a lot, especially things called tuna and salmon. So when I go to eat something that is beautiful and delicious, it smells like fish, it smells like my 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 year seven, my year seven sports class when it was that time of the month for all the girls, and you'd walk in there on a summer day and just it'd be stinking. Uh, that's what it smells like in my fridge when you leave tuna in there. I was going to say that's my special power, but then you said that, and uh, <laughs> I don't want to. It's special power? <laughs> Leaving things open in the fridge. Okay, there we go. It's a clear but up. then you there started. You then you start talking my about the My special power is to make a room smell like an open fish market. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. I was about to say it, and I was waiting for you to finish, and then you changed the subject, and I was like. <laughs> No, okay, let's keep watching. <laughs> yeah, let's just keep watching, though. What's on your shoulder? Um, a chip. <laughs> a tattoo, I'm getting a tattoo. Why? Why would you want to do that? And what if it doesn't come out right, Phoebes? And it's like, I don't know, having a bad haircut all the time. Why is everyone staring at me? I'll sign this birthday card for Dad. Oh. Rich is going to be here any minute. Ooh, Rich is going to the party too, huh? Oh, is today the day you're going to tell them about you too? Yeah. For my Dad's birthday, I decided to give him a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you should tell them. I don't even know how serious he is about me. Until I do, I'm not telling him anything. I don't think Mom and Dad would mind. Remember when you were nine and Richard was 30, how Dad used to say, God, I hope they get together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. Ross, let's let's switch paces. You get in the middle. Monica, you can come in straddling him. They still wouldn't believe it. <laughs> We're here. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, Happy birthday, Dad. Oh, thank you. Hi, oh, Mom. You kids thank Dr. Berg for the ride. I think Monica thanked him for the both of us. <laughs> so, you kids take the train in? <laughs> oh, Richard Berg. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of She home, was definitely taking a ride. a 20-year-old Twinkie in the city. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like me. Finger cramp. Oh, God. Sorry. Let's take an action replay of that. This literally looks like me when Tanya rubs my shoulders. 20 year old Twinkie in the city. <laughs> you like that one? You're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Here, let me get that, Mom. Richard's shopping in the junior section. <laughs> I don't do that. that. Oh. Just know she's got the IQ of a napkin. She's probably not even very pretty. <laughs> you believe this place? I was just in the bathroom, and there's mirrors on both sides of you. Well, there's my fantasy come true. <laughs> hey, we were just saying, great apartment, man. Thanks. You should definitely take this one. Can you see me in a place like this? Come on, I'll show you the kitchen. Oh, that's all right, fellas. I saw a kitchen this morning. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Is she really 20? Rich, it's my birthday. Let me live vicariously. <laughs> Dad, you really don't want to do that. Uh, Jack, would you let it go? When I turned 50, I got the Porsche. You, your daughter. you got your own little speedster. One of these weekends, you can borrow the car, and I could... Dad, I beg you not to finish that sentence. <laughs> but I'm kidding. Oh, my God. Yeah, his, his face is going to change yeah, when he knows who exactly. she is. Which it's going Lily? to change completely. This Lily or that Lily? Well, I like this Lily. It's more open, you know? And that's like my mom. She had a more open, giving spirit. All right, blonde girl, you're in room two. Not so blonde girl. You're with me. Here we go. Uh huh. What is it? Is this because of what Ross said? Is this how this relationship's going to work? Ross equals boss? <laughs> Come on, what is this, 1922? Women, men used to tell women what to do a lot. And then there was suffrage, which was a good thing, but it sounds horrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you want to get this tattoo? Yes, I do. It's just that Ross is your boyfriend the boss of you. No. Okay, who is the boss of you? Baby. You? <laughs> no. You are the boss of you. Go! <laughs> How you doing? I'm a Twinkie. Really? I'm a hero. This is so hard. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should just tell them. Maybe we should just tell your parents first. My parents are dead. But you were so lucky. Well, you know I, I mean. know, I know. <laughs> They're gonna get caught okay, either I'll way. Go out first, right? Right. right? I bet you they're all looking much. Judy, going to the bathroom. Good for you. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate the support. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. Oh. Did you know Richard has a Twinkie in the city? I know he's like a new man. Just never would have pictured Richard with a bimbo. Apparently, he told Johnny Shapiro he thinks he's falling in love with her. Really? I tell you, I've never seen him this happy. You ever think about trading me in for a younger model? Of course not. With you, it's like I've got two 25-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely way to put it. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. In <laughs> I saw the way you were checking out his moldings. I've already got an apartment that I love. Well, I wouldn't kill you to say it once in a while. You want the truth? I'm thinking about it. I got enough money that I don't need a roommate anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I don't need a roommate either. You know, I may have to bring in somebody once a week to lick the silverware. <laughs> it's not like we agreed to live together forever. We're not Bert and Ernie. You know what? If this is the way you... What? You don't know about Bert and Ernie, do you? Why? No. I think everyone else does. Tanya doesn't. She's Spanish. What, they gay or something? Uh, not openly, but uh, yeah. for each other, go research about it. Okay. It's a very similar story to the Teletubbies. You will never see Teletubbies the same again. No, I, I, I've never watched the Teletubbies the same again since I, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. <clears throat> but the stories you hear, and then the stories you hear about some of your favorite shows back when you were younger, and you're like, I'm scarred for life. Yeah. Some things. Like, uh, like, uh, uh what's his, what's his name? The, uh, the purple dinosaur what's his name oh you said it the other day i can't remember i've never watched a yeah, purple yeah, yeah. dinosaur i've forgotten his name now yeah the thing is a lot of things here in spain have different names yeah they change the name of the barney and friends yeah yeah they but change they change the name of a lot of that's the characters. why you don't know a lot yeah of but names. like uh what was the name they just said on tv Bert? Bert and ernie in spain they called epi blas Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, I know Epi Blas. I know them because I've watched them. I've watched Sesame Street. Yeah, they're from. I've watched. I've watched. But I don't know them. It, it as the name in English because they changed their name in Spanish. Yeah. So yeah, I know about. Now I was thinking about. It, I think. I think I know who they are. Yeah, I know who they are, and I know. Well, there was rumors about. Yeah, Barney. yeah, yeah. Ah, Barney. No, I'm talking yeah, about, about Barney. Yeah. About Barney touching some of the kids that were on the set with him. Hmm. You said that to me the mm -hmm. other day. I've, and he, I've never watched the, it. One of the guys got in trouble that played him, yeah? <laughs> and a lot of secrecy has been like held back for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And it's only a matter of time before so many things come out about these TV shows about, from back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Seriously. Uh, that, why do you think all of a sudden they just get cancelled, yeah? Mm-hmm. And people don't know why. And yeah. then they say, oh, it's because of the ratings. Yeah, exactly. Pathetic. Well, that's how I feel. Well, then maybe you should take it. Then you'll be able to spend more quality time with your real They're like friend. a married couple. <laughs> Whose drink can I freshen? Well, it's time for cake. Monica comes out and she's scarred. Watch. <laughs> Mom, are you okay? Do you remember that video I found of Mom and Dad? Well, I just caught the live show. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I Ew. <laughs> I love his reaction. Ew. What? Heard something nice about you. Richard! Your son isn't seeing anyone, is he? I was thinking, why doesn't he give Monica a call? Well, actually, I'm already seeing someone. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Shut up, Ross. 
Did you know Monica seeing someone? <laughs> there are so many people in my life. Some of them are seeing people and some of them aren't. Is that Crystal? <laughs> well, uh, he's a doctor. A real doctor? Of course he's a real doctor. And he's handsome. <laughs> and he's sweet. And I know you'd like him. I... <laughs> you taking everything back now or what? Jack! <laughs> Take that down. <laughs> <laughs> Seems your daughter and Richard are something of an item. That's impossible. He's got a Twinkie in the city. That's dad, Ross's the dad. You're the Twinkie. That's Ross's bloody dad. This is the best relationship I've been oh, in. Please, a relationship? I am crazy about this man. Really? Yes. You even said yourself you'd never seen Richard happier. When did I say that? Upstairs in the bathroom right before you felt up mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, no. Awkward moment. Awkward moment for that. There's your birthday present. Oh, it looks so good. I know. I'm so glad you made me do this. Okay, let me see yours. She didn't get it. Okay, let's see yours again. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gone. You didn't uh, get it? No. Baby, how could you do this to me? I was gonna get it, but then he came in with this needle. Really? You don't say, because mine was left on by kittens. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry about what Yeah, happened. me too. I, I know. know. Yeah. <laughs> so do we need the hug here? Or? All right. Yeah. 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 So I got you something. Plastic spoons. <laughs> These will go great in my new place, you know, until I get real one. What? Well, I can't use these forever. I mean, let's face it, they're no friend of the environment. <laughs> What's this about your new place? I think that was serious. I thought that was just a fight. Well, it was a fight based on serious stuff. I just think it'd be good for me, you know, help me to grow or whatever. Well, there you go. This is exactly why I don't have friends. Just wait, keep watching. I don't want to leave you high and dry. Hey, no, I've never been lower or wetter. <laughs> Fine, I'll just turn your, uh... Bedroom, a new game room or something, you know? Put the foosball table in. Why do you get to keep the table? I did pay for half of it. Yeah, I paid for the other half. I'll play you for it. I could take two minutes out of my day to kick your ass. Your little men are gonna get scored on more times than your sister. Oh, damn. Which one of them? Whoa, 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 whoa. Which sister? <laughs> <laughs> so are you sorry that I told him? It's been a long time since your dad and I went running. <laughs> what, did you get it? Let me see. It's Ross here? No, we went out to get pizza. That's great. Very tasteful. You want to see mine? Want to see mine? Yes! What? You didn't get one. Well, then what is this? What are we looking at? <laughs> that blue freckle? That's my tattoo. He finally got her back in the chair. He barely touched her with the needle. She jumped up screaming and that was it. For your information, this is exactly what I wanted. The tattoo of the earth as seen from a great, great distance. The way my mother sees me from heaven. What a load of crap! Your mother is up in heaven going, where the hell is my lily, you wuss? Phoebe, that is not a tattoo. This is a tattoo. You got a tattoo? Just a little one, Phoebe. Got the whole world. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, well, it's really sexy. Wow. Is it sore? Or can you do stuff? I guess. <laughs> hey, save us some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the corner. Pass it. Pass it. Stop talking to your men. Yes. And the table is mine. Congratulations. What a weird me, episode. Right? Oh, yeah. You got the big TV. We'll be over there all the time. <laughs> Except when we are here. <laughs> now you're just moving up town, but I'm really going to miss you. Yeah, who's going to eat all our food and tie up our phone lines? And Is that my bra? We used it to, you know, fling water balloons off the roof. <laughs> eh, those junior high kids couldn't even get theirs across the street. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Hey, let's bring the rest of these down to the truck. Uh, you want me to, uh, give you a hand with the foosball table? Nah, you keep it. You need the practice. Thanks. I don't know when I'm going to see you again. Well, I'm guessing, uh, tonight at the coffee house. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Take care. Yeah. Come on, it's not that bad. You're still going to see each other as friends, what the heck? All the time. <laughs> And I, th I think, right, what I was going to say is one of the biggest things about killer when it comes to depression is loneliness. And that's what people are so scared of. And this is what I was talking about in one of the movies that I've just recently watched is 
loneliness is is such a you could basically say it's such a disease that eats the way at your brain mm-hmm. because it makes you do the most stupidest things that you'll ever think of yeah yeah what well, stupid most stupid things so stupidest 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 most stupid things you could think of yeah and people are so scared about being lonely it's a big factor here with joey and chandler mm-hmm. you know and they're so used to being with each other in the exact same apartment yeah that now that they're so-called lonely they don't realize that they still all have each other as friends mm-hmm. but then now their places is going to be a, a lot bigger of course it's, yeah. it's not the same because yeah they living together they are spending basically all day together yeah, exactly and now they right. have to be apart but let me say before we th- we change the subject mm-hmm. joey and chandler's hugs are the best yeah i was watching a compilation the other day and i was like yeah they're the best there you go compilation <laughs> of friends that's what no, you know compilation you like of joey and chandler's yeah, hugs but it's from friends so yeah. you know you're addicted to friends when you watch compilations of friends that, that's you've all already my all the hugs that's all my, that's on my instagram that and harry potter i keep i keep scrolling on my instagram and i get friends harry Please. potter friends harry potter friends harry potter <laughs> like okay go. and it's all full of like compilations and well, they're funny friend, moments. They, I think their friendship is the best out of all of them. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. And I think there was a quite a quite pivotal moment for both of their characters because it's showing that their that their lives now they're mm-hmm. that they're expanding their lives. Yeah, because instead of being in this box as people, they're expanding. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're showing that they can do things. Yeah, if they can continue to be in their own apartments yeah i don't know how long it lasts for but i thought that that um that joey was already in his own apartment oh no no, the, no. was was joe was he was no. li- he was living with chandler because he didn't have money remember chandler paid for everything but he used to live in his own apartment joey yeah so was someone used to live in oh, i'm thinking ross. about ross ross ross, ross, ross. i'm thinking about apartment. ross's apartment so the thing is he can take a page out of Ross's book, yeah, where Ross is living by himself, quite mm-hmm. literally, yeah? Yeah. So, I mean, and Rachel is living separately and they're together, yeah? So, it, they can at least show that it's possible to do it, yeah? Even though you're, they're only just friends, they're not in a relationship. Well, maybe they're in a relationship. They could <laughs> quite possibly be in a relationship with how close they are to each other. I mean, they lick each other's spoons. And, <laughs> and use each other's yeah, exactly yeah to scrub toilets and things like that so there you go i mean ew yeah exactly so ew. oh uh, i think is the next one the the, the one i think it is uh let's have a look is it the one with the the duck and the chicken the one where eddie moves in ah uh, no no I don't th- is it i don't know the one where eddie moves in i don't know if it is or not i can't remember the name of that one but the, the one with the the duck and the chicken is amazing I, all the episodes are really really good i mean it's i can see why you would just throw this on and just relax throughout the day yeah but n- the first time it's got good. nothing to do you just throw it on the first time it's good to see like one after the other because you need to know what's going on if yeah. the first time you watch it, you watch like one episode from season one, one from season two, one from season but three. But that's the you worst thing know. how normal television does that. Yeah, it's but so they, they do that. They do that. And I think that's why I couldn't get, like, I didn't watch Friends and all these TV series, mm. Seinfeld. It's because like during the day, we only had a couple of channels, but during the day, there'll be like a random episode from season six and then a random episode from season one. I'm like, wait, who's that? And what's that? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that's why I couldn't really get into these sorts of things yeah so no for me oh no it's not it's not this season it's next season the one with the one the one i was talking about <laughs> for me i'm 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 enjoying this because it's a um it's something that a lot of people can relate to yeah mm-hmm. and i was saying before that's the reason why i don't have friends is because literally there's so many heartbreaking things that mm-hmm. happen with friends like yeah that's why i can't i can't i can't i can't do it yeah Mm. and my 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 best friend is my wife and my friends and my kids you know what i mean so that's enough heartbreak that i'm going to suffer in the future anyway because one of us are bound to pass away before the other one 
and my kids are gonna are bound to leave my house hmm. so i'm going to get heartbreak from them so i don't have time to have heartbreak from my friends <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean mm-hmm. and i'm gonna get heartbreak from my family because obviously well maybe family will you know what i mean they'll eventually pass away before you do or you you know what i mean it's it, there's so much heartbreak in your life that jesus christ adding friends to it i mean adding pets to it too we've got pets and eventually the pets are going to pass away before we do yeah or run away or get hit by a car like usually what happens with our pets like well, snow wall <laughs> like all the simpsons i think the, the, the what's about to happen with the cat is that that he's going to jump down the wheel no yeah, probably probably, probably yeah, crazy cat but companionship is is very important for some people though in this world companionship is very very important mm-hmm. Com- yeah companionship is so it's so good yeah it's so good mm. and it doesn't have to be through humans you can have it through pets itself mm, you can have it through whatever you can have it through virtual virtual reality basically through the internet with people yeah uh-huh. it's it's always good to have to have people to have not necessarily a friendship with but a relationship with on the kind of level where you can have like a friendliness towards it yeah mm-hmm uh-huh so uh yeah it it just the thing is i think growing up that i had so many friends but there was no true friends yeah they're all dogs and that's what i find out when you're older that Hmm. the friends turn into dogs so many times and when you're friends with them you don't realize it until you're older you're like wow i can't believe the dog things they used to do yeah but that's what i think that's what's wrong with you that you've had very bad yeah mm. very very friends very in the past yeah, yeah and experiences and now yeah. you're scared of that happening no, again no, but I'm not it's really just scared. you haven't found the right person to be your friend i'm not That's really scared is. i'm not really scared i just i look i'm i'm old enough to understand what people are like yeah and i'm very open to like talking to people now mm-hmm. and having friendships with people but also, I I know that there's going to be heartbreak with friendship and things like that because there's heartbreak in every relationship yeah, yeah, that course, you have in the world. Yeah, every relationship. And it's what I told you. Even if, for example, me and you, we never get divorced, one of us is going to pass away before the yeah. other. Yeah, of course. And just, just imagine how heartbreaking that mm. is, yeah? Mm-hmm. So it's I've, I've come to terms with that fact, yeah? So... I mean, I'm not going to go out of my way and say, oh, this person's my friend. Right? I have people I talk to, yeah. Hmm. But, yeah, it is It is what it is. It yeah. is what it is. But, yeah, guys, that's the end of episode 16. Let us know if you enjoyed it. If you're going to check it out in full, it's over on Patreon. I hope you did enjoy it. You enjoyed it? I did. I did. For the five, mil- always- <laughs> for the five millionth time. I did. You know what's funny? I've only, like, I've watched, I've watched it, like, 50,000 times, but one episode after the other this is the third time that i do it hmm. so i've only watched like all the all the episodes together twice then every episode i've watched it like 50 yes yeah, separately you're so lucky i turned your microphone right up honestly why you guys can't see it but in the camera the microphone like literally this is tanya's well, this is tanya's head the microphone is here and she waves it like this <laughs> <laughs> so i've had to boost hers up on, on the equalizer mine is all the way down here and tanya's is all the way up <laughs> i'm sorry am i supposed to yell like this like this is fine. That is fine i just feel like i'm forcing because i don't speak this loud usually no and you're yelling because you got headphones on too yeah that too <laughs> anyway what i was saying is <laughs> i've only watched like every episode one after the other twice this is the fir- the third time yeah but i've watched every episode separately millions of times because mm. like what you you turn the tv on and there's always like friends on and and yeah. stuff like yeah, that on yeah, tv yeah. but it's what i was saying maybe you watch the last one and maybe and then next week you watch the the one from the third season then the fourth that's, one then the second one I, that's and i remember I, that's the reason why i hate normal television because mm-hmm. it used to do that to me and when Australia i didn't have time. internet at home when i was uh, like uh 12 13 i didn't have internet at home i used mm-hmm. to go to my cousin's house and download the episodes and watch them in my pc so um yeah i i had like 
25 episodes from different seasons that I so watched like even more not, than the rest. Not having internet, you're, you're so lucky that you were a female because I don't think a boy could do it without no internet. I didn't care. I downloaded the, the episodes from my cousin's house and then I watched it in my but house. do you know what I mean? Yes, I, yes, I know what exactly you're talking right. about. And I don't know if it was like season seven. You're a or teenager when you're talking about that, yeah? See. Yeah. Teenager? Yeah. Yeah, 13, 14, more yeah, or less. Teenager, yeah. I don't know what season it was. I don't know if it's season five or six, but I, I had like all the episodes from that season and some from other seasons, and I used yeah. to watch them all the time. Mm. So now I can't really remember the order of the episodes. I can't remember what comes after. Yeah. Ah, then, okay. then when I see the title, I say, okay, this is the next one. But I can't remember what episode comes after this one because I, in, in my head, it's all like. Oh, I know what's gonna happen, but it's all like all over the place. But it's amazing how someone in a different country can have such a connection with an, a, a TV series that's from another country. Mm, it's very popular. It, yeah, but it's so crazy that though you think about it, like all the popular TV shows out there that are, are liked by so many people around the world. Mm -hmm. But then, like you see, I don't know. You, for example, you see something from for example india and not many people would hear or hear about it yeah yeah and it's so crazy how the world's so focused on america and everything mm -hmm. that america produces yeah it's it's unbelievable it's yeah. like it's like everyone wants to be like america mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i have to admit i used to watch it in spanish so a lot, a lot of jokes that's why i love so much house. because a lot of jokes are like have nothing compared to watching it in English. I think this is the first time I've actually watched it in English. I used to watch it in Spanish. When, yeah. when, when like when, when Richard said, it. when Richard said, about, talked about the glasses, who needs glasses, yeah? Because <laughs> you're like, okay, that's funny. I can't remember how it is in Spanish right now, but it's not as funny. Yeah. Because you can't, glasses in Spain that doesn't mean glasses and glasses, in, yeah? It, it went with Rachel, her voice is like, you're saying Rachel. Yeah. It's so it's weird. All, they're I, weird. They're weird. We yeah. will show you yeah. guys. We'll show you guys in the next episode. We'll show you in the next episode. Yeah, I watched it uh, on, on normal TV. It was in Spain, Spanish the other day, and I was like, really i used yeah. to, I, we used to watch it like this <laughs> it i think it was so, awesome, yeah. so weird yeah and i thought it was the best yeah. <laughs> now i'm like what yeah but you didn't think like that until i got here i was like why do you watch tv shows in spanish oh because i've only ever watched them in spanish yeah because I, I it's and then true. i introduce you to them in english like you never watched the simpsons in english no. until you met me and i threw it in english and you're like whoa no yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy your day. We'll speak to you very, very soon. Stay tuned on Patreon. You're getting another episode right now. I hope you enjoy it. Three episodes, back to back to back, baby. Let's go.